Kids and cadets, welcome back to Tommy Time. Thanks for coming out. I spent some time this afternoon working on this 1991 Craftsman Eager One with a Tecumseh engine. It is a four horsepower engine. So I got this in a group of three. I paid five dollars for this. The other two are also Craftsman units. The other two, one's a Tecumseh again and the other is a uh, Briggs and Stratton engine. So I took the carburetor off this one. I kind of had a feeling it would be a, a fuel system problem. This did fire off with happy juice. The carburetor and the the tank were full of bad and contaminated gas and I, I saved it here so I could show you what came out of it. Really old stale gas and a lot of contamination. So I'm hoping that's going to be the only issue with this thing. I'll do a quick walk around. I kind of looked at the drive system. The drive cable is rusted shut, so that's an issue. It's kind of a primitive system, but I guess it worked in 1991. The drive system actually comes right off the side of the engine here on a pulley. The uh, newer units have a, a pulley on the, the bottom of the shaft. This is a side shaft drive deal. So this drive cables actually rusted shut right here where it comes out of the plastic tube and it's just a straight cable that's all rusty and up, and up. so this long belt here runs a short belt in the front when you pull tension on this lever it tensions up the little belt in the front and it should drive the system. So I kind of did a quick search for parts. Parts for this are hard to find. They don't make any of this junk anymore since it's a 1991 unit. The only thing that shows up is a few nuts and bolts here and there, but the primary stuff that you would need has um, been discontinued. So this might just be a pusher unit if I can't rectify the front wheel drive. I noticed the primer bulb was a little soft. So I don't know if it's pushing fuel, we'll find out. And the, the um, brake control cable is missing. I'll bring you back around. Somebody's wired this in the open position, so I'll have to use a screwdriver to kill the spark. Right here, somebody's taken a coat hanger and wired this in the open position. That's where your brake control cable should mount. So that's not functioning. I've got a screwdriver handy to kill the spark if we uh, are successful and get this thing to fire off. So let me bring you back around and I'll pull on this.
I noticed it's a, a pretty heavy unit. They used steel back then. I mean, lots of it. This thing was super heavy to move around. There is some surface rust and one rust through hole on the other side, but these old units they made are really durable. So there you have it, a rusty old beast. So putting tension on this did not get the front wheels to engage. The um, plastic gearing on those wheels may be stripped out. I'll have to investigate further. But the real issue is getting this drive cable. If I can't get the cable, there's no sense in moving forward with the project. If I can't engage the drive system, then there's no use in messing around with it anymore. This may be a strictly pusher only, get rid of all this front wheel drive hardware. This oil here was when I took the recoil off, some oil poured out of the uh, oil filler tube. So I'll clean all that up if I have some success, further success with this thing. So in order to sell this to somebody and be confident that they can turn it off, I'll have to rig up a piece of sheet metal like the old engines had where you kill the plug. So I'll hook up a piece of sheet metal and probably attach it here. Make it long enough to go to the uh, top of the plug and that's how you would kill the kill the ignition like I said there's very little parts availability so I wouldn't even be able to get the brake control cable 
to mess with it. The cable and the drive lever is still intact. but the drive gear is not engaging. So kind of surprised I got this old silver beast running with just a quick carb clean. Quite a bit of snot in the carb in the tank. Looks like it's been sitting forever. A lot of debris in the gas. So it just needed some love and some attention and it showed us it still has some life. Got the bag even. Those are usually torn and discarded. This one isn't in bad condition. So overall the uh, big silver beast that still wants to cut. There you have it, it's an eager one still ready to go. I'll mess with the 1994 Craftsman with the Tecumseh. It's got an electric start, but I'm not going to mess with any of that stuff. I don't even know if the starter will engage, and I don't have a battery for it, so all that jazz is coming off. It'll be a strictly puller. So thanks for coming out and checking out this antique 1991 Craftsman with a Tecumseh 4 horsepower engine, 22 inch cut. The old silver beast is still rocking it. Please like and subscribe, come back and see me, I'll have some more videos for you, probably do that other 94 craftsmen very soon. Thanks again.